Welcome back, my friends, and cheers to a long overdue uh, and greatly anticipated by me, uh, Pints and Paints. Uh, it will be a special Pints and Paints as we're going to include a quick look, product review, something cool that has uh, shown up on my doorstep today, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. I was having a garbage day and uh, to come home to this gem uh, and open it up and see what was inside thrilled me to no end. And... Uh, Given my absence from the channel, what with uh, life and, and lots of other busy things going on this summer, uh, I think this was the uh, Kickstarter to getting my hobby motivation fired back up. So um, I'm excited to jump in and show you. Today's pint of choice is just a Coors Light. Uh, it's very hot. The mountains are blue. It's hot outside. Uh, worked all day. Nothing like a nice... Uh, cold beer after work so here's to you here's to uh, all our fellow hobbyists and I trust that everybody's having a, a wonderful week and is finding lots of opportunities to hobby so uh, the topic what we're all here to see um, I got a very neat little package that uh, arrived by airmail no less uh, with a return address and such uh, Please do not bend handle with care. You'll be happy to know it was not bent and it was handled with care And I am of course talking about this beauty right here uh, Absolutely thrilled to get my hands on it. Can't wait to go through. Uh, I am most certainly going to do a full in-depth uh, Product review of this. This is just sort of a quick flip through to see um, It's the personal touches in this hobby that really drive, um, you know, the sense of community. These guys, Tom, Damien, the folks at SBG Towers, uh, you know, couldn't be more thrilled to support you guys. And it's these little touches that go uh, the extra mile, to be sure. So, got a nice note. Uh, thanks for the support. Enjoy the issue. P.S. We love the OHA. Well, us the OHA certainly do love SBG Towers, and uh, absolutely thrilled to support you guys uh, now and in the future, to be sure. So, uh, as you can see. Standard for these gentlemen. The quality is bar none, uh, top notch, absolutely touch, top notch. I, I've had a quick flip through. Um, absolutely beautiful issue, beautiful. The cover art once again stunning. Uh, this one, the 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 emphasis to me at least on the battle report, uh, definitely much more on the miniatures than necessarily the board. Uh, the board is still stunning. There's no doubt, but uh, a lot of beautiful shots of the miniatures and of the battle that is contained inside these pages so uh, before I forget though this has to go into a very special spot so that will be number two on the board on the OHA board from the boys at SBG Towers so um, all in all if you if you don't have your hands on it order it get your hands on it as soon as possible uh, I know there's some people that, uh, you know, will be waiting to pick it up at Nova. Uh, we were fortunate enough to get our hands on this copy, uh, and I also have one for uh, another member of the OHA. Uh, so we're going to flip through these, uh, and definitely we're going to do sort of an in-depth uh, in depth review. It has some, some of the stunning features that uh, you come to expect. One for me that I'm particularly excited about is a Tactica on the Iron Hills. So... Uh, for those of you who follow the channel, you know uh, I love playing Ironfoot. That is my army of choice. Can't wait to read through, pardon me, the article by Will Champion. Um, uh, it's going to be awesome. It's got the uh, of Dyson Men Part 2, Doctor's Cole, uh, the Corner, uh, of course the Battle Report, which uh, I, you know I have to show this. I hope you guys don't mind. Get a load of that. That is absolutely stunning. Fantastic. Uh, would have loved to play this game. Absolutely would have loved to. Um, the amount of work and effort and time. More importantly, guys, I think that's the biggest thing we got to remember here. Is the amount of time these guys put into this production. It's incredible. They deserve so much respect. And, uh, you know, I, I hope I can do them justice by uh, promoting what I can, how I can, uh, however I can for this great publication. Because they do a fantastic job. Uh, so that photograph gives you sort of a little sense of what they're doing in the battle report. Uh, you know, and that picture tells the story right there. It's absolutely stunning. Completely uh, excited to read through turn by turn and see how that went. 
Um, another terrific article, How to Win a Golden Demon, uh, and that is going to be uh, an interview with uh, Shadow and Flames, Kevin Lawrence. So uh, he did a Middle Earth themed diorama that won the Golden Demon, so he takes you through sort of his process, some of the tips, tricks, all that fun stuff. Can't wait. Another one of my favorites, Painting Masterclass. This one is for Thor and Oakenshield, which is absolutely terrific because it's actually a model that I have to paint. Um, I've been using a converted uh, Thorns Company model. I have the, the Champion model. I just haven't painted it. Excited to get into that, and I will most certainly be using uh, that, that guide to be sure. Uh, and again, that's by uh, Kev Lawrence, so... Uh, how can you go wrong uh, taking pointers from a guy who has won multiple Golden Demons? Uh, I believe multiple. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and then Dave Fredericks, again from Shadow and Fra Flame. <laughs> so excited, I can't even talk. Uh, the Heirs of Durin. Uh, so that's uh, some sculpting for conversions and stuff. Uh, and then, you know, the regular hobby blog, supporting SBG competition, etc. So, um, once again, stunning layout. Absolutely terrific uh hobby content in this magazine 100% 100% specific to SBG uh, and I just can't wait to dive in and read it all uh, just to give you a sense there's the there's the Tactica page I mean it's it's just incredible you've got some sponsorship there from Generation Shift does some terrific bases uh, you know the standard hobby hobby blogs but uh, what I want to do here I want to go through uh, go in depth, do some reading, get this entire thing under my belt, and then come back to the channel on a non PNP episode, uh, and definitely do a review of this absolutely stunning uh, publication. So, if you haven't gone and checked them out, check them out. SBG Magazine, um, they are absolutely fantastic. A must-have in this hobby, uh, and important that we support these guys because the caliber of the stuff they're producing. Um, you know, in my opinion, this is the kind of stuff that should be keeping GW honest. Uh, just showing them the level of interest and, and the level of life in this game still. Uh, to be able to produce something like that is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So, uh, SBG Magazine. Thank you very much, guys. Completely excited that I got my hands on it uh, a little early, I guess. Um, I guess as far as Canadians are concerned. So, awesome. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, we will definitely get that review up as soon as possible. Uh, other business. Uh, there was some activity on the OSBGL side. Uh, Derek, our good friend there, he ran another event. God bless him. Um, and this one was Middle Earth's Deadliest Heroes. I think we had a couple guys from the OAJ attend. Uh, Tyler and Dane, uh, as well as some of our uh, connection guys from uh, the London area. Steve... Um, I don't know if Dwayne ended up going or not, but anyways, it sounds like it was a terrific time. Good fun had by all. Uh, really excited that that went well for Derek. Uh, the guy puts his heart and soul into these things. And uh, to my understanding, Ronan actually uh, took his first kick at the can at being a TO. So congratulations to you, bud. Um, I saw some praise on the, uh, on the site there saying that it was well run and everything was great. So good for you. Way to jump in and uh, champion the hobby, buddy. That's uh, that's definitely the kind of stuff we need uh, to keep this going. So, uh, super excited there. Uh, from an OHA front, uh, just give me a second. there it is. Um, kind of uh, kind of light uh, again for me. Uh, I've had a lot going on. OHA George is uh, being uh, typical OHA George and making tables, which uh, I'm not sure at this point that he's capable of stopping. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, in some circles, it could be viewed as a problem, but, you know, I don't know. All kidding aside, he's building some stunning tables, some great pieces, doing lots of casting, lots of work for the OHA, and we certainly thank him for that. Uh, I know there were some teaser pictures that popped up on the site. piece looks absolutely awesome, uh, and I know in talking to him, uh, the goal for this particular table is most certainly to have a little more modularity in it and uh, be able to use the buildings in other applications as well as uh, laying out the board differently, um, you know, to give a little bit of variety in play. So uh, George is really sort of evolving um, his his table making process, which is uh, incredible because the stuff he does is terrific. And then to add that ability to 
you know, change the table layout uh, for any given game is is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So, um, the rest of the OHA guys, hats off. Lots of uh, hobby content being posted up, uh, painting and stuff. That's awesome. Keep it up. Uh, completely pumped and excited to see the projects you guys are working on. Um, not that those were not motivating me, just unfortunately other things were drawing my attention. So that magazine right there has rekindled the uh, the flame. I'm actually going to grab something tonight. I'm going to put paint to brush, uh, which is fitting for P&B. Um, and I'm going to try to get something posted up on the site so that you guys aren't doing all the work yourself. Um, I think I'm, I'm going to finish up. I've got a High Elf Captain and Banner, and I think Arwen Foot and Mounted that uh, that I'd like to get done for my little girl, um, just because she enjoys, uh, obviously, playing the game with the female characters. So sounds like uh, that would be a nice little project there, and I'm sure once I'm done reading the SBG magazine uh, that I am most certainly going to want to get my Iron Hills wrapped up, because seeing that rank and file of uh, Iron Foot is uh, breathtaking. There's nothing finer, no no finer warriors in all the land, to be sure, to be sure. So, um, I think that's it. It's going to be a short episode, guys. There's not uh, there's not too much going on. Obviously, we have Scouring the West Farthing coming up in September. Uh, that one, again, is going to be uh, headed up by the bo other boys of the OHA. I'm going to be a little tied up uh, getting hitched, so... Uh, God bless them. Those guys are going to go forward and push forward with it. And, uh, you know, I will help out where I can and I will be in attendance, but uh, I won't be uh, as involved as uh, maybe last year. So uh, really looking forward to that. Still working on some information for BOG, trying to find a weekend that works. There's so much going on. It's such a crazy time of year. Uh, and as I said, uh, BOG, I think this year is going to be a little more, uh, a little smaller, a little more intimate. Um, you know, a, a sort of an invite only thing. Uh, which is cool, but uh, you know, definitely looking for looking forward to doing that. Um, it's a lot of fun and a great uh, great time to get together and play some games. Uh, the OHA itself, we've got a uh, I guess what you'd call a general meeting on the 15th, which uh, I'm definitely looking forward to. Looking forward to hearing some ideas and thoughts uh, and sort of uh, some of the synergies that we can come to within the group to see uh, direction moving forward and uh, all the possibilities that are sort of in front of us. So. Uh, really looking forward to that with all the guys from the OHA and then uh, you know who knows maybe uh, if OHA George has any room and a table available we might actually be able to play the game that we all spend so much time uh, promoting and talking about and doing things for but <laughs> as I know I have not played since um, what well, would have been since the CK Expo was the last time that uh, that I was actually able to throw some dice so uh, yeah, and that was in line with Derek's event. So I missed Derek's event to do CK Expo, which was great. We actually, uh, I guess, I never really did do a recap on that. Um, CK Expo went terrific. We had a lot of interest, had a great time playing some games, met some very interesting people. Uh, and further to that, we were able to drum up quite a bit of traffic on uh, all of the social media platforms. Uh, so Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, uh, we saw an increase. And subscribership on all of those which is fantastic interest people asking questions commenting people we'd never seen before on the site so very excited about that we're almost at the 600 follower mark on instagram um youtube's uh, not doing as well it's it's down uh two in the 250s somewhere in there 200 to 250 anyways very happy with that thrilled about it any of you guys that are supporting it absolutely excited um you know again it's just a platform for us to help promote that right there, the SBG brand, uh, Middle Earth SBG, I guess, um, and our club, our humble, humble little club in southwestern Ontario that um, has become as successful as it is because of you guys. There's, there's no doubt about it. So, uh, anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, CK Expo went great. I'm going to have some more beer. I'm going to go sit down on the deck, and I'm going to have a nice read of my new SBG magazine. And uh, once again, if you guys don't have your hands on a copy, get a hold of the guys and get yourself one. Um, definitely, definitely worth the investment. It's uh, it's a stunning publication. And again, I can't, can't thank Damien, Tom, everybody at SBG Towers. Don't know how many other people there are, but uh, <laughs> anybody involved with SBG Magazine, hats off to you. Thank you very much. Cheers, and we will catch up with you hobbyists soon. Take care.